hi guys welcome back to my channel so it's been a minute since i've had a sit down video i hope all of you are doing well and welcome back like how's 2021 treating you and how's life okay if you're new here subscribe to this channel like comment and share this video and also follow me on my instagram it's at asandantini i'll leave a link on the description box and also follow my blog hairrights.wordpress.com yes so it's still under wordpress.com because i don't want to pay for it <laughs> you pay me money okay what am i having i'm having black coffee because lactose, lactose kids, lactose, even lactose free milk doesn't work anymore, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and I'm having a banana bread and I have notes written here because I'm forgetful. Like I have a lot of notes because there is a whole lot to catch up on. Okay. Uh, first things first. I just shot a good two shot a two or three minutes video and the camera was not recording we off to a great start 21 is such a great year okay so I haven't posted in a while because one I've been not busy but I've just been not motivated to take videos that's just what happened and I've actually convinced myself that today is going to be a productive day i'm going to study and i'm going to shoot her video those are the two things that i'm going to do and i'm going to cook so yeah it's a saturday it's sunny and i'm at home and i'm having coffee okay so for those of you who do not know me i think i've introduced myself Hope it's in the clip that was not deleted or not recorded. Um, Asan Dantini. Uh, I'm 23. It's crazy that I'm actually 23 and I can fully say that I've actually had one year experience as a candidate attorney at 23. It's not a big deal to some people, but it's actually a huge deal to me because after I finished my degree, I was really confused. Uti, am I actually going to get articles? And I actually did. I'm really grateful to my principal for actually giving me the opportunity. So, I'm sure all some of you have not read, most of you have not read uh, my blog, but I'm passionate about social justice and human rights, basically. That's why my blog is her rights. It's not her rights as in, it's <laughs> I couldn't get the rights to write to do that, so it's her rights as in w r i g h t s but okay i also have three cats one is coming this side so sunflower i've got my food okay and i'm passionate about human rights and social justice and i also speak a lot about mental illness because i've suffered with that a lot and being anxiety and depression and I've been on antidepressants and I might actually go back to hardcore ones because wow but it's one of those things that I have passion on and I wish that someday I had like this big platform where everyone would be free to talk about their issues and to deal with life unjudged and also that we live in a world where justice is seen, where justice is practiced, not just written about, not just spoken about, but I want to see it being practiced. Yes, that's why I became a lawyer. <laughs> Honestly, that's why. Just started my legal career, so I'm not in a position of commenting on how exactly should our justice system work and how does it work at this point. So we'll leave it at that and however i just need to put it out there and you'll see in this channel this year because i think it's taking a different turn not a different turn but i want to be more vocal about things that i'm passionate about because i think with the sit down videos i've not been doing them because excuse me what's happening summer 
because I've not had an opportunity or I've not actually spoken about the issues that matter to me. Social justice matters and with the pandemic we've seen how people actually, like yeah, we've not had water in like three months. Yeah, running water in three months. People are not having access to basic services. Those are the things that I want to talk about. Those are the things that I want to challenge. And with growing in the legal career, that's where I'm headed. I like corporate, I like everything about it. I like the money there. <laughs> but my passion, my drive is social justice. How people are actually living in a society where it's supposed to be democratic, where they're supposed to have the things that they were promised. So okay this is not a campaign <laughs> it's turning out to be <laughs> all right okay to the kid who just started the articles to anybody who has or just completed their degree watch my video on why, on why not to become a lawyer <laughs> i'll link it here but stop watching american movies and stop watching American shows and thinking that's what the courtroom is about here in South Africa. I hope that I think uh, people are still not allowed to go and observe in courts. What did I do to you, Sunflower? Because of the pandemic. But um, if you get an opportunity, go visit a court and see how the proceedings are. Yesterday, I was sitting and observing the divorce court. I was not supposed to do that, but I was waiting on uh, the magistrate so that I can go and do something in chambers with them. So I sat and observed and it's everything that everyone assumes it's supposed to, it, 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 it's, it's not. Okay, I don't know how to explain this, but just go and observe courts and Stop watching American uh, series and thinking that you'll be that lawyer. Our system is not the same. Our courts are not the same. Our issues are not the same. So expose yourself to things that are in whichever country that you are in. Because I know that some people are actually not even South African that are, in, are watching my channel. So expose yourself to things like that. And also, please, my dear child, you will not have money from being a, 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 a candidate or a just intention. Some do, if you're lucky, but do not go into the career thinking, the moment I'm out of varsity, I'm going to earn a big check. It's not going to happen. It's not. Okay. All right, moving up along. My last thought. Yes. <laughs> My thoughts on love. That's the last thought. I know. Okay, there's somebody who's cutting grass at 9 a.m. They were supposed to do that at 5 a.m. before we woke up. So that's what the noise is. I'm, I'm sure some of you have already gotten annoyed and left this. But yeah, people cut grass in hot, blazing sun at 9 a.m. They should learn a thing or two from my. Whoever who cuts his grass at 5 a.m. Crazy that one. Okay. So, my thoughts of uh, uh, on love. It's one of the most beautiful things that you'll ever experience. However, you must allow it to happen. Do not force it. Do not fight for it. Do not do anything that's not supposed to be done not just supposed to be done but it shouldn't feel forced so love is free and it is freeing freeing in the sense that you become your full self the moment that you feel suffocated into being something that you're not that's not love leave so there's that and when you are in love or when you are thinking that you're in love you have to be your full self you have to be full in yourself be so full that you now overflow oh my god <laughs> that you now overflow and people can pour from you You cannot pour from an empty cup so 
you have to be full you have to be a full human we cannot look, go around looking for somebody who is going to complete you if you look for that they're now going to you are now going to change from being who, who you are and start looking for pieces and those pieces are going to be filled by somebody else and their vision of themselves or their vision vision or vision what's the word whatever the word is of who you are supposed to be and that's when you're going to lose yourself that's when you are going to start thinking that love doesn't exist when it actually exists and it just needs you to be your uh, a full human being a, a full being before looking for somebody and when you are do when you are looking for somebody you have to look for somebody who's also full somebody who who is themselves in every way not somebody who you are going to try and change and also have to like your partner yeah there's that before you actually love somebody you have to like them you have to like everything about them not just everything but you have to to like that individual you must like who and what they are you must like things about them because if you don't and just love them you're probably going to leave that relationship or you're probably going to think that love doesn't exist and also get yourself a cute cat <laughs> Say hi, Summer. Okay, she's annoyed. He's annoyed at me. I always call her a she, but it's a guy. But she's too cute. Okay, she's gone. He's gone. <laughs> He's so annoyed. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, if you don't like your partner, you might actually, at some point, not run. Yes love runs out and what sustains you is the fact that okay love doesn't run out. one of the two will run out and the other should sustain you <laughs> i'm not an expert i'm not but if you don't like the person if you don't like say you don't like how the person uh does certain things you're gonna end up not wanting to be in the same space with them okay yeah like if you don't like a person you're gonna end up not being able to tolerate the person you'll you, you'll feel love 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 doesn't end that's why people break up and when they see each other they get that you know to actually still like this guy you don't like them you love them when you say you love somebody you really do love them but it might happen that they annoy you to an extent that you actually no longer like them or you get into a relationship not liking them and then that will then become magnified with the things that they do and then everything runs out okay and finally you have to find somebody who you are equal to yes what do i mean by somebody who is equal you don't need somebody who is 50 percent and 50 percent has to be somebody who's 100 and i did say equal and equal uh, i mean it has to be full and full and that person should feel the same way shouldn't date somebody or be with somebody who you feel that you are they are superior to you or you are inferior to them what happens with that your i i was listening to this in a podcast with oprah somebody said your fear will get activated with somebody who is superior to you you feel the need to continually uh not just please but you continually be afraid of them you continually be you won't love that person but you want something from them you continually want something from them and somebody who is inferior to you you want to give this to give them something and that's fear both of them are in fear listen to that in Oprah's one of the soulful conversation that she has and she says that she, uh, the guy that was with him says that uh, fear is not love so do not activate fear in whatever do not be in fear okay <laughs> we were talking about fear so if you have somebody we're equal to 
you won't be afraid of anything you won't be afraid of losing them because they are superior to you and you constant they're constantly giving you something you won't be afraid of them because they are inferior to you because somebody who continually wants to please is afraid of losing that person so again there is no fear in love i'm not afraid of my very tall yeah tall old person but and is in a better financial stage and all of that but i'm not afraid of him because there's love there if i was afraid of him i was not going to be there do not do that to yourself if you if you feel that you fear something you won't be yourself and not being yourself means you're not in love you're not you're not in a it doesn't fulfill all the right things in life so don't do that to yourself and finally uh okay i don't know if i gave you guys a lot a life update but what happened this year so far is i started my second year of articles a week ago about a week ago a week ago yes my articles are registered on the 10th of february so officially finished a year and yeah there's that and family wise i lost my uncle who is a uh, younger brother to my late dad who passed in 2017 rest in peace back dude there's that that's what i was busy with in the beginning of february and um my cat has my cats have all grown <laughs> like i have three now instead of five gave away no instead of seven gave away the rest of them and we have three and my sister turned eight in january and She's the one behind the camera right now. Yeah, she keeps on talking, so I, that's why I keep on start restarting everything. Um, she started big school, so there's that. And you see more videos of me this year where I'll sit down and talk about things that matter to me. Huh? Okay, and okay, this is my outro. I've spoken so much, and I'm thirsty. I need water. My cake and coffee are all done. So, I will see you on my next video where we'll do something nice. Maybe go to the gym together or somewhere nice, hopefully. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. And I'll probably have my sister do something nice as well. <laughs> my eight-year-old sister, not the old one. Yeah, the other two old ones. The other one. Oh, update. My friend, who knows, he's in a relationship. life's good yes there's that something cute about life and okay i'm going off track i'll see you on the next video like comment and subscribe i love you lots bye